Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's episode of Badge Breakdown, we are going to be discussing the tight handles playmaking badge. Let's just jump right into it. Description reads increases a player's ball handling ability in size up situations, making it easier to break down the on ball defenders. So basically, uh, this is still the same tight handles badge uh, that we've had in the last two. Uh, 2k games or whatever you know um <clears throat> as far as the dribbling badges space creator and ankle breaker i would say that tight handles is the best badge as far as dribbling goes it's the badge that i managed to get to pop or activate i get the most stumbles trips and stuns with tight handles i've tried space creator i've tried ankle breaker and ankle breaker is nice too um but I think that tight handles is the best uh, when it comes to those three dribbling badges. Um, uh, this this badge, I think 2K Labs did a test on it. And it's like a, a really good on bronze compared to other levels. But um, basically, you want to go either bronze or Hall of Fame. Uh, me personally, I run this badge on just bronze. And just on bronze alone, I get... A lot of activation I get a lot of um, stumbles and stuff like that so I would definitely uh, recommend this on a bronze level I've tested it on silver I've tested it on gold and Hall of Fame too and honestly I just don't feel like the badge is as good on silver or gold so I would go with bronze if you're trying to save badge points but if you do have a, a bunch of badge points like I do I have 30 on my pure playmaker I would recommend you can you can go Hall of Fame, but personally, I would just go with bronze. You know, that's just my opinion, man. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K22 content and badge breakdown videos. I'm out. Peace.